So Amari, it's a day to dream, and it's a day to dream of wearing number one on opening night and maybe seeing it up there next to the other retired numbers here at Madison Square Garden. Ladies and gentlemen, number one of the New York Knicks, Amari Stoudemire. Thank you, thank you. It's definitely a, uh, a great opportunity for me uh, to play in a, a city at this, this magnitude. I want to thank Mr. Dolan for, for the opportunity to, to be a part of a great organization. Um, it's definitely a goal of mine to, you know, ultimately win a championship. And that's, that's what we're looking to do here in New York. Start of a new era. You know, we, we, we start a new era here in New York with the Knicks and trying to get back to the top. You know, it takes one step at a time. It takes a lot of hard work. It takes dedication. Uh, it takes focus. It takes self-discipline. So in order for that to happen, you got to be willing to, to accept the challenges. And uh, I'm definitely, you know, ready and willing to accept those challenges. And Again, I want to say thank you to Mr. Dolan for allowing me to, to be a part of such a great organization. And New York is a beautiful city. You know, it really is. And, you know, to be back uh, here in New York is, is a great opportunity for me. So, again, I want to thank the New York Knicks staff um, for, for giving me this opportunity to uh, try to get back to the top and eventually win a championship. So, thank you. Time now for members of the media to ask questions. I ask that you wait for the boom mic. Alex is handling that. Please stand and identify yourself. Rachel. Hey, Mark. The other day that the Knicks are back. What kind of challenge do you think that's actually going to be for you, and how are you up to that? Well, when I say the Knicks are back, meaning that it's the start of a new era for us. You know, we're really looking forward to, to building this franchise and winning the championship. You know, so, you know, if we continue to, to work in those efforts and and uh, as players, for us to work hard as we can and under Coach D'Antoni and really improve, then, you know, we can hopefully step up to the plate and accept those challenges. Uh, Brian Mahoney from the Associated Press. Uh, Amari, I know you said you love New York, but what is it about the, the Knicks team that wanted you, made you want to come to play here? Well, it's a great opportunity for me. You know, uh, again, it's, it's about challenges, and it's definitely an ultimate challenge for myself to um, – to eventually, you know, bring the Knicks back to to where they rightfully belong, and we're going to do a great job of collaborating and and uh, collecting our thoughts and trying to build a team up uh, to ultimately contend. You know, so it's, it's definitely a great opportunity for them. It's a great challenge, and I'm willing to uh, to accept that. Hey, Mari Howard, back from the Times. Uh, obviously, there's another player out there that everybody is uh, kind of hoping to see around these parts. Uh, any word that you've heard from LeBron, especially in light of reports that he may be heading somewhere else? Yeah, I'm not totally sure what, what LeBron's going to end up doing. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a big decision for him and his family. Uh, best of luck to him. Obviously, we'd love to have him here in New York, but uh, we're not sure what his decision is going to be, so we got to wait and see. How you doing? Uh, Jordan Schultz, FanHouse.com. Um, wondering what it's going to be like to play without Steve Nash. Of course, Tony Douglas is a nice young player, but Chris Duhon just left. Um, Believe it or not, the Knicks getting our point guard, we'll see. But how will you adjust not playing without such a great point guard? Yeah, playing with Steve was, was, was great. You know, we had great times. Uh, it, it was, we had a phenomenal ride, you know, in Phoenix. Um, so it's all about making your teammates better. You know, so being here in New York, if, you know, made Tony Douglas better and the guys that we uh, can bring in, you know, trying to improve and making everyone better, then hopefully we can, you know, have the same success. Lloyd Carroll, Queens Chronicle. Amari, a lot of free agents re-signed with their old teams pretty quickly. Uh, did you think about re-signing with Phoenix, and are you going to miss those balmy winters of Maricopa County? Uh, no, I mean, you know, obviously I'm, you know, with, with the New York Knicks, and that's where my loyalty stands, and, and this is where we're looking to, to, to build a franchise and really contend for a title. So, you know, Phoenix was great, you know, uh, beautiful weather. The fans was great, but uh, on to the next one. Definitely was a uh, uh, process that was well thought out. You know, uh, a lot of different teams out there that were inquiring and asking about me and wanting me with their, with their, with their program. Uh, I figured New York was the best opportunity for me, for one. 
the state and the city is phenomenal. I'm, 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 I'm playing in Madison Square Garden is, is you know, is, 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 NBA players a dream, you know, and, and to help we build a, a franchise that are looking to, you know, get back to the top is, is also a goal. The challenges is what, what, what inspired me and what intrigued me, so I'm ready. Uh, I mean, I talked to Phoenix a few times, even even during the year last year. So, I mean, you know, so just not sure if they have the means to to, to keep building. Uh, so, and I, I know Mr. Dolan here really wants to win, and so do I. And, I, and that's, that's where the uh, the common denominator comes in. We just got to go from there. You've had a lot of uh, playoff experiences. How can that experience help your team now? It's going to help. It's going to help the players. You know, I, I just share those share to my teammates uh, all the experiences I had and what it took to get to that point and what it takes to be successful. You know, then they can watch, uh, by, learn by example. Uh, so just leadership qualities can definitely inspire these young players, and they can really use that to their advantage. Oh.